little brisk out here. Balmy summer night. <laughs> Salute. Hey guys, Rashid Phillips here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my absolute favorite dishes, Argentinian-inspired steak nachos. So, big game is coming up, and if your friends are anything like mine, they love free food. Isn't that right, Corey? First off, we're gonna need a steak. Black Angus, prime, choice, get whatever you can afford. Doesn't really matter, they're freeloading off of you anyway. We've got our gosling going. I'm actually using some hickory wood, to roll that flame. I think like right now is a good time to insert some B-roll footage. Editor, B-roll footage now. All right, we've selected our cut of steak. We're going with this one because it's got a great interwoven fat and fat is what the flavor is. We're gonna need this because we're cooking this on relatively high heat and in a very unique way. Can't wait to show you guys. It does have one odd flaw here. It's starting to separate, so I'm gonna bind it. Not like 50 shades of gray bind, more like hold you down and tickle bind. Now I use this method because it allows me to get two floating lines here. You'll see in a second, what am I talking about? There we go. See the whole two lines, make sense now? And you don't wanna tie it too tightly. Just enough to where as it cooks, it won't unfold on you. See, that looks a lot better. We're gonna use a cast iron. Now take your pick of whichever one you'd like. I've got this guy here, Ooh. or Thor's hammer. Um, you've got to be worthy to wield this thing. Uh, it's not as light as I'm making it look. I'm a miniature giant. So this is a beast, but it's going to hold temp very well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and go with it because of the ambient temperature outside right now. For right now, we're using Bertha, the big girl. And we're just going to get her right inside all the way to the opposite edge of our gosney and let it slowly come up to temperature now while we have our cast iron warming up we're going to start seasoning our steak the steak's just going to need a little bit of oil and some smoke salt that i made myself not just any oil fancy olive oil you know it's fancy because it's uh <laughs> it's written on the bottle we're going to do a little light drizzle, rub, and as you're rubbing, sing inside your head, tell me something good, and don't forget the edges. Tell me that you love me, yeah. Nice and oiled up. Then, we're just going to go to town with it on salt. This is a very thick cut of meat here like cold peanut butter stuck at the top of your roof of the mouth stick like that thick then we'll do a little uh stuff right up in here don't be shy it's thick yeah we're really just going to crust in a ton of salt and since it's not a rub we're not rubbing it we're pushing it down that's not the actual reason why it just just works better when you push it down Bertha, Bertha's smoking. Bertha's ready for it. So what we're gonna do now is drop in a little bit of olive oil. Did that, uh, just coat that pan. Smell it, you can smell it. Now we're gonna drop in our steak. So we've got our steak doing its thing in our Gosney right now. It's looked beautiful, it truly it is. We've gone ahead and done our first turn on it. We'll probably turn it two more times. I don't come from the school of like, leave it alone, no. Smack it, flip it, rub it down, whatever you gotta do, just make sure you cook it right. Give that two minutes. So I got two minutes to make chimichurri. Let's go. Chimichurri, simple yet flavorful. Parsley, cilantro, one-to-one -one ratio, grab yourself some limes, garlic, Mexican oregano. Yes, it does make a difference. And some red chili flakes. There's gonna be a little bit of other things like some salt, some red wine vinegar. I'm gonna whisk all of that together. 
This just tastes great. The fresher, the better. Let it sit for a few minutes. You'll, you'll end up taking it to that, just shooting it straight. It's absolutely amazing. We're gonna start with our cilantro. You can start with your parsley. My cilantro just happened to be on top first. Start with a rough cut, real rough chop. I think what makes my chimichurri flavorful is I leave the stems. A lot of people just pluck the leaves off, but I leave the stems. Now, let's bring our parsley into the mix. Rough, loose chop at first. Bring it all together. Just add it to our bowl. Our steak sounds like it's almost done, so uh, let's go check on it real quick. Alrighty. Now you can see why it is binding it was so important. All right, so we've pulled our steak, we've got it resting, and we've got our cast iron out. We're not done with this one yet. We're gonna be using it a little bit, but first, let's finish off this chimichurri. Let's add the rest of our ingredients. Mexican oregano, red chili flakes, and some smoked salt to taste. Don't forget, a very fancy olive oil. How much to use? Your ancestors will tap you on the shoulder when you've added enough. Time for our limes. and our red wine vinegar. Now, we're gonna plain our garlic. Garlic, like fat, makes everything better. I'm gonna whisk this all together. Now, we've got our chimichurri done. We're only missing like really two more parts, our tortilla chips and our cheese. We're gonna get everything ready to fry our tortillas. So this is my secret ingredient, my special weapon to be steady with this stance. If I'm saying that right, I'm Jamaican, I don't know. This is rendered beef fat, AKA tallow. So remember I mentioned earlier that we've got this guy hanging out for a reason, still warm, still has some residual heat. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my tallow in there to about a quarter of an inch because I'm gonna do a very shallow fry on my tortillas. So I'm gonna get this warm for about two minutes, add this in, drop the tortillas in, crisp them up, ready to go. Now let's go ahead and prep our tortillas. Yeah, that looks about right, that, we'll go with that. You can smell that beef tallow. You can smell the herbs in there. And it's so easy to make. We've got our tortilla set. We hit it with some salt. Our steak is resting. Our chimichurri, the flavors are melding. We're just missing our cheese. Now, to be really Argentina inspired, I would be unwrapping and showing you guys an amazing roll of provoleta. But, I do love the smoked Gouda. It's like, not the next best thing, but it's the only thing I found that would actually fit the cast iron, so. What I'm gonna do is get this slightly warm, just a little, nothing crazy. Then we're gonna drop in our smoked Gouda, let it melt, pour it over all of these tortillas, do a little slicey dicey on our steak, and you know, the rest is like hero shots of me eating the food and letting you know how good of a cook I am. All right, let's see if our skillet is warm enough. Oh yeah, that's toasty. So we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. Now we're placing that at the complete opposite end of our Gosney unit, and we're gonna let it melt down, render, release all that goodness. And we're just going to pour it over our beef tallow tortilla chips, slice up our steaks, top it off with some of that fresh chimichurri, and serve to your freeloading friends. Now, if you're for some reason making this in 34 degree weather like I am, and things tightened up on you slightly, no worries. I got you. Just grab that little tray right here. Push it on in. and just let it grab some of that residual heat. 
gonna do its thing. Time for like my favorite part of all of this is uh, getting to eat it. See how we set this up. I would recommend snagging one of these. I'm just gonna put that on top of that. That looks about right. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, that's good. If you want the whole recipe, go to Gosney. Gosney.com, like it's there. Are you still here? It's nothing left to see but me eat all of this and like fight off Corey because he's going to try to get some too. No, oh, bro, come on, man. Like, what are you Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Do you see it? I know, I said, but you're still here. But if you are still here, I hope you're seeing this. Excuse me while I go do some <laughs> some non-friendly things to this. Ooh. Tell me something good.